Welcome to the Eternal Bible Quiz YouTube channel. You are on your way to experience a journey of deep exploration of the Bible with us. Today, we will explore 21 fascinating questions, the secrets hidden in the pages of the Holy Book, and explore together the depths of faith and knowledge. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos from us. For now, let's get started. Question 1. From Abraham to David was how many generations? A. 12 generations. B. 43 generations. C. 7 generations. D. 14 generations. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter D. 14 generations, no more. Matthew chapter 1 verse 17 in King James Version states, So all the generations from Abraham to David are fourteen generations, and from David until the carrying away into Babylon are fourteen generations, and from the carrying away into Babylon unto Christ are fourteen generations. Question 2. Who warned Jesus about the danger of returning to Judea before his crucifixion? A. Philip B. The Disciples C. Judas D. Thomas You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. The Disciples No more. John chapter 11 verse 7 8 in King James Version states, Then after that saith he to his disciples, let us go into Judea again. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee, and goest thou thither again. Question 3. Who spoke in defense of the Gentiles during the Jerusalem council? I, Paul. B, Barnabas. Say, Peter. D, James. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Peter, no more, Acts. Chapter 15, verse 7 in King James Version states, And when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, Men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago God made choice among us, that the Gentiles by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel, and believe. Question 4. In the book of Luke, who were the two people Jesus met on the road to Emmaus after his resurrection? A. Cleopas and another disciple. B. R. James and Andrew. C. T. Mary and Martha. D. Peter and John. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Cleopas and another disciple. No more. Luke chapter 24, verse 13, verse 17. 18 in King James Version states, And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem about threescore furlongs. And he said unto them, What manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them, whose name was Cleopas, answering said unto him, Art thou only a stranger in Jerusalem, and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? Question 5. In the book of Luke, who was the tax collector that climbed a sycamore tree to see Jesus? I. Zacchaeus. B. Simon. C. Nathaniel. D. Levi. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, Zacchaeus. No more. Luke chapter 19, verse 2. 4 in King James Version states, And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, which was the chief among the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus who he was, and could not for the press, because he was little of stature. 
and he ran before and climbed up into a sycamore tree to see him, for he was to pass that way. Question 6. What three colors was the woman prostitute dressed in? I. Purple, red, green. B. Purple, white, yellow. C. Purple, scarlet, gold. D. Purple, blue, silver. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Purple, scarlet, gold. No more. Revelation chapter 17 verse 4 in King James Version states, And the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Question 7. How did Peter describe Jesus in his speech at Solomon's colonnade? A. Oh, the prophet. B. The king of Israel. C. The Holy One and the Just. D. The Teacher. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. The Holy One and the Just, no more. Acts chapter 3, verse 13. 14 in King James Version states, the God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One and the just, and desired a murderer to be granted unto you. Question 8. What city did Joab and all Israel besiege while David stayed in Jerusalem? A. Rabba, B. Hebron, C. Jericho, D. Jerusalem. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Rabba, no more. 2 Samuel chapter 11 verse 1 in King James Version states, And it came to pass, after the year was expired, at the time when kings go forth to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all Israel. And they destroyed the children of Ammon and besieged Rabbah. But David tarried still at Jerusalem. Question 9. Who came into Galilee preaching the kingdom of God? A. Peter B. John the Baptist C. The old James and John D. Jesus. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Jesus. No more. Mark chapter 1 verse 14. 15 in King James Version states, Now after that John was put in prison, Jesus came into Galilee, preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God, and saying, The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. Question 10. Who is likened to a city that is broken down and without walls? A. He that hath no rule over his own spirit. B. A lazy person. C. A proud person. Uh, a person who is quick to anger. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. He that hath no rule over his own spirit, no more. Proverbs chapter 25 verse 28 in King James Version states, he that hath no rule over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Don't forget to count your correct guesses. Question 11. In the book of Leviticus, what offering is described as being made without yeast? A. Burnt offering. B. Peace offering. C. Sin offering. D. Grain Offering You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter D, grain offering. No more, Leviticus chapter 2, verse 4, 5 in King James Version states, And if thou bring an oblation of a meat offering baked in the oven, it shall be unleavened cakes of fine flour mingled with oil, or unleavened wafers anointed with oil. And if thy oblation be a meat offering baked in a pan, it shall be of fine flour unleavened mingled with oil. Question 12. Which ruler wanted the baby Jesus killed? A. Philip. B. Herod. C. Augustus. D. War. Tiberius. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B, Herod, no more. Matthew chapter 2, verse 13, verse 16 in King James Version states, And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeareth to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise, and take the young child and his mother, and flee into Egypt, and be thou there until I bring thee word. For Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked of the wise men, was exceeding wroth, and sent forth and slew all the children that were in Bethlehem and in all the coasts thereof from two years old and under, according to the time which he had diligently inquired of the wise men. Question 13. In the book of Ruth, what was the relationship between Ruth and Boaz before they got married? A. Siblings-in-law. B. No relation. C. Distant relatives. D. Cousins. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, distant relatives. No more. Ruth chapter two, verse one. Two in King James Version states, And Naomi had a kinsman of her husband's, a mighty man of wealth, of the family of Elimelech, and his name was Boaz. And Ruth the Moabitess said unto Naomi, Let me now go to the field, and glean ears of corn after him in whose sight I shall find grace. And she said unto her, Go, my daughter. Question 14. On what day did the disciples pluck ears of corn, much to the anger of the Pharisees? A. First day of the week. B. Day of Pentecost. C. Sabbath. D. Day of Atonement. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, Sabbath, no more. Mark chapter two, verse 23. 24 in King James Version states, and it came to pass that he went through the cornfields on the Sabbath day, and his disciples began as they went to pluck the ears of corn. And the Pharisees said unto him, Behold, why do they on the Sabbath day that which is not lawful? Question 15. In the book of Leviticus, which offering required the laying of hands on the head of the animal before it was sacrificed? A. Sin offering. B. Peace offering. C. Guilt offering. D. Burnt offering. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A, sin offering. No more. Leviticus chapter 4 verse 3. 4 in King James Version states, If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin which he hath sinned, a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. And he shall bring the bullock unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation before the Lord and shall lay his hand upon the bullock's head, and kill the bullock before the Lord. Question 16. Where did Jesus turn water into wine? A. A birthday party at Jerusalem. B. A funeral in Bethany. C. A bar mitzvah in Bethlehem. D. A marriage in Cana. You have 10 seconds.
the right answer is letter D, a marriage in Cana. No more. John chapter 2, verse 1, 3 in King James Version states, And the third day there was a marriage in Cana of Galilee, and the mother of Jesus was there. And both Jesus was called and his disciples to the marriage. And when they wanted wine, the mother of Jesus saith unto him, They have no wine. Question 17. In the book of Leviticus, which festival is also known as the Feast of Booths? A. Pentecost. B. Unleavened Bread. C. The Feast of Tabernacles. D. Passover. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C, the Feast of Tabernacles, no more, Leviticus. Chapter 23, verse 34, 35 in King James Version states, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of this seventh month shall be the Feast of Tabernacles for seven days unto the Lord. On the first day shall be a holy convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Question 18. Who did Paul hand over to Satan for teaching them not to blaspheme? A. Hymenaeus and Alexander. B. Luke. C. Peter. D. Timothy. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter A. Hymenaeus and Alexander. No more. 1 Timothy chapter 1 verse 18. 20 in King James Version states, this charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by them mightest war a good warfare, holding faith and a good conscience, which some, having put away concerning faith, have made shipwreck, of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Question 19. Where did Jacob tell his sons to go buy corn during the famine? A. Canaan. B. Egypt. C. Assyria. D. Philistia. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter B. Egypt. No more. Genesis chapter 42, verse 1. 2 in King James Version states, Now when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do ye look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither, and buy for us from thence, that we may live and not die. Question 20. Who did Christ raise in the town of Nain? A. Jairus' daughter. B. Lazarus. C. Widow's son. D. Peter's mother-in-law. You have 10 seconds. The right answer is letter C. Widow's son. No more. Luke chapter 7 verse 11, 12 in King James Version states, And it came to pass the day after that he went into a city called Nain, and many of his disciples went with him, and much people. Now when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow, and much people of the city was with her. Question 21. The pure oil for the light to be burning regularly was to be taken from A. Pure oil olive beaten B. Fir C. Acacia D. Fig tree You have 10 seconds.
The right answer is letter A, pure oil olive beaten. No more. Leviticus chapter 24 verse 2 in King James Version states, Command the children of Israel that they bring unto thee pure oil olive beaten for the light to cause the lamps to burn continually. Thank you for joining us on Bible Quiz Channel. Comment and let us know how many questions you answered correctly. Invite your loved ones and friends to join us in exploring the depths of the Bible together. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our latest videos. See you on our next journey. Goodbye, and remember, sharing knowledge is truly wonderful.